So you want to be a junior coach or look after a junior squad. Then you need to be able to prepare programs. How do we do it? I find the easiest way is to break your program down into a warm-up, a main set, a kick set, a pull set, and a warm down. Warm up, main set, kick set, pull, warm down. Now, if it's a, an hour junior squad, then you take 10 minutes on warm up, 30 minutes on main set. And that's the hard thing you want the kids to do. You want to get them to enjoy working hard. So make sure you give them 30 minutes of that hour on the main set. Then, of course, you can do a 10 minute kick set and 10 minutes on pull and warm down. With young kids, it's best to try to do as much uh, medley type work as possible. But I'm going to break this down into one hour to give you an idea on kids that swim approximately 50 seconds for a lap of freestyle. So if we had a freestyle warm up, we would base it all on a one minute time cycle. So in that 10 minutes, which is 500 meters, we'd probably want to swim about 400 meters. So what could we do for a warm up for 400 meters? I like using flippers. So I would put the flippers on. Remember this is a freestyle warm up, but we can do it for medley, anything you like. So we're gonna give them 400 meters warm up. I like to give them, say, put your flippers on, do 100 meters, Laurie's drill. Doing this drill, they alternate both sides. So that means stop your hands in front, do one, two, three, four, five, six kicks, pull down, breathe. Stop your hand in front, one, two, three, four, five, six, pull. During that, of course, you emphasize. What are the things you would emphasize? You'd emphasize tumble turn, push offs, streamlining, a minimum of four butterfly kicks underwater. So you got the fins on. Once you've done that, let's see, 100 metres lorry's drill, what else can we do? Lead the fins on, put in a pull boy. You don't have to take your fins off. 100 pull, freestyle pull, back to lorry's drill, and back to pull. So you've allocated 10 minutes for your warm up, which is fantastic. Now that can be anything. That can be with the fins on, you can do 100 metres breaststroke arms. You could then do 100 metres um, double arm backstroke pull. You can do 100 metres lorry's drill. And then finally, you can do 100 metres double arm backstroke again. That can be done in an infinite number of ways on an infinite number of strokes. Very important. The warm-up's done. Now we're into the main set. With that warm-up, there are so many... Now the main set. This is where you want to encourage the kids to hammer and go hard. Let me think about it. We're 30 minutes. It's a, a minute a lap. So we've got to do 30 laps at a minute. What can I do? I can do 15 100s. I can do 30 50s. I can do any. I can do. I can do seven 200s, all approximately the same time, and they're all on two minutes, one minute, or four minutes. And as they get better, this can be any stroke at all. I'm just giving you an example, nothing else. So you can get the idea of how do you form a program? How do you stick to your program? In this, I used to love giving 15 100s or 21 100s or whatever. But this can be done in an infinite number of ways. For example, if you've got a 25 metre pool, Fifteen one hundreds can become 
125 plus 75 meters can become a 50 plus a 50 or we go back to what we had at the start a 75 plus a 25 they're all 100 meters times five asking the kids to do that fast or if you don't want to do it that way you can simply go okay that it's going to be broken 100s we're doing 15 broken 100s and we're doing it in 25s so it's four times 25 fast 30 seconds rest and you can do that times if you're going to give them the rest then you'd have to do it times 12 something like that hope I'm making sense here but that can be done in a number of different ways and of course that can be done in a number of different strokes you have to understand though what the standard of the kids are and what cycle you want to send them on in fact sometimes you may have three different standards in three different lanes that you're coaching. So you've got to put it on a one minute cycle, a one minute 15 cycle, or even a one minute 30 cycle. So you're trying to cater for all kids in the, in the squad. I hope I'm not going too fast here for you. But we've done that, that's the main set, and we really try to get the kids hammering that. What I'm going to do one day is I'm going to come down and video a little class doing this freestyle main set and share it with you. Ten minutes kick. With the kick, I always like to do the kick with fins. Because with the fins, with young kids, you can do backstroke kick, you can do butterfly kick, you can do freestyle kick. So I would either do kick with all the strokes or 10 minutes of breaststroke kick. If you're going to do breaststroke kick, no fins, obviously. And then we get down to another 10 minutes to finish off the group, and that 10 minutes is, consists of a pull and a warm down. And you may even want to combine those two and just do 400 metres, pull, warm down. I hope I've made sense. Now, what I like to do is I like to prepare away from the board what I'm going to do. So, I would prepare 10 different warm ups. Say it again to the camera. I would prepare 10 different warm-ups. Okay, you've got that, put that in your little book of warm-ups. Then I would go along, go to the main set, and prepare 10 main sets over the half hour period. Now that can be freestyle, it can be backstroke, it can be medley, and it can be on whatever cycle those kids are capable of doing. Then of course the kick, and as I've already said, I love to do uh, the kick with fins, I think it's great for kids, or no fins and do a good quality breaststroke kick. That breaststroke kick for little kids can be done on their back, where they concentrate on keeping their, their knees together, and just video down here a minute, making sure that they don't bring their knees that way. We kick on our back so they, keep, they bring their feet to their bottom, they bring their feet to their bottom, not their knees to their chest, which is drag. So when you do breaststroke kick, just make sure that you're creating that narrow kick. Once you've got over the kick, then you've simply got your pull and your warm down. Very often in your warm down, you can do some drill work there as well. So I think that's explained it. So you do 10 different warm-ups, 10 different main sets, 
10 different kick sets and 10 different pull warm downs. Now you've got an infinite number of programs that you can draw from. Don't go to the pool unprepared. Come with a program ready. And then you're not struggling for things to do. This has been very simple. You just simply change it for backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, freestyle. And once you start getting all those other strokes in it, it is, there are infinite ways and infinite programs that you can create for young kids. Just remember, in this main set area here, in the main set, we are trying to teach kids to go hard, exert themselves. Get established early that if you want to be a good swimmer, if you want to be a great racer, you have to be able to hurt yourself in training. If you want to be a good swimmer, if you want to be a great racer, you have to be able to hurt yourself in training. I've been up and watched Dean Boxall work with his young age group kids and now those kids have grown up to become young men and women and they're performing at the World Championships with credibility. In fact, Ariana Titmus just beat one of the greatest freestyle swimmers for women that the world's ever seen on a par with Debbie Meyer and Dawn Fraser and that's Katie Ledecky. You don't beat someone of that calibre if you can't hurt yourself in training in the main set. Go at it, go hard and get your young kids training hard. Good luck.